Warner and I have two children. We've been married 51 years. I never dreamed I'd be married when I was 19 years old, but when we started dating, it just kind of fell in place. We've been on the ranch we're on for 51 years. I never really considered another way of life. I grew up on this ranch, I love this place. And it was things that I knew. My granddad came in 1896 and homesteaded the place in 1903, right north of us, about 25 miles. We're in the southeastern corner of Arizona on the Malpai Ranch, which is our ranch here, and we do border Mexico. I'll tell you what's so special about ranching. The freedom of uh, being, being your own, being responsible for yourself and your actions. Oh, this whole country, I tell you, if, if something's not done to absolutely stop this illegal traffic, this country is going to go down the drain. Also, another thing of those dogs, I lost four last summer. Oh, okay. They, they got into Mexico, and I couldn't go get them that very or Usually, before, I could just ride south until I overhauled them and brought them out of there on my horse, but I, that barrier stops you now. Hi, guys. I'm Joe Harris. I'm the Douglas District Range and Watershed staff. In about 1990, there was an awful lot of dissension between ranchers and trouble with agencies working with ranchers. And so we started working together and we formed the Malpai Borderlands Group. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Corbin and I'm the regional forester here. We are uh, conservationists, uh, environmentalists, and we're ranchers. How do we keep these landscapes looking like they are now for, for my, grand, my grandkids? We're doing this to protect the land and take care of what we have here. Pick up work on protected areas in, in uh, our region, and most of you know that region includes the Boot Hill. Uh, we have to make a living from the land, and we want to be here for generations. We don't go into the big city and have meetings about things that we're going to solve. We solve them right here where, where we live. A year ago, in March, one of our neighbors was out checking his waters and he saw an illegal alien out there and he radioed his brother and said he was going to go help him. So when they found him shot, it just totally changed the whole picture. When 911 happened and they traced the pilots back, two of them came through Cochise County somewhere illegally. And our concern is not just illegal people, but terrorism. And so it's not, we don't have the freedom that we had. We're kind of fearful. But the rewards that are there is that you're out there doing your thing. And you can make the decision when you get up in the morning which way you're going to go.